Are you ready for some hot Space Hulk kill team action? Because we're about to go into the dark. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry, and we have the Warhammer 40k Kill Team Into the Dark box set. We are going to be unboxing it for you right now. I'm excited about this one. This is a big old box, as you can see. Uh, it's got two kill teams in here, both of which I'm very excited for. We have a brand new Coot, uh, Croot, <laughs> Far, uh, Croot, Far Stalker, Kin Band. I can say words good. And the Imperial Navy Breachers. Uh, I'm excited about both of these kill teams for various reasons. But in the box, we're going to get 24 miniatures. Uh, we're going to get a brand new, unique terrain set, as you can see on your screen there. Um, new game board and all that fun stuff. And of course, this is all kill team specific stuff, but it will have rules eventually for use in the 40k big tabletop. So, for the first time slicing this bad boy open. Um, I'm excited about the Crute because these are the first new Crute models we've had in years. And uh, the Imperial Navy Breacher team is also exciting because. Um, looking at the Imperium, the, uh, the Imperial Navy Breachers, uh, are a massive, or the Imperial Navy is a massive, massive organization within the Imperium that has virtually, like, no love talking about it outside of, like, Battlefleet Gothic, but, um, this is the first time we get a look at, like, the, the crew that defends the battleships from enemy borders and boards enemy ships and tries to take over, so very cool stuff. Uh, we have popped the box top. And we are going to dive in here. So I'm going to try to separate out the um, crude stuff versus the Imperial Navy stuff. And then, of course, we'll go through the train as well. So a lot of a lot of plastic in this box. This is pretty awesome. I'm actually going to move this to the side as we tackle the different sprues. So this looks like a crew sprue. And then I think we have a couple more. Yeah, this would normally... This looks like... This would normally fit something like this. So uh, this is our first look at, at the Crute up close. I, I love this kit already compared to the old Crute kits. Um, it's got a lot of really cool, weird weapons. Um, you see the Crute rifles and things like that. But we also have like this weird blaster that's like a heavy ballista crossbow thing. Very cool. It's also have a, a Tau pulse rifle, kind of, it's Crute, so they work with the Tau. Um, obviously. Um, and yeah, it's just, these are some really cool looking models. I like this bit right here. Some kind of like crude shotgun thing. They have different, uh, melee weapons too. Um, it, it's a kill team. So you've got a lot of ways to spruce up these models to make them unique for your kill team. As you play various games, you can add little doodads and, uh, little upgrades for them. Um, uh, for, for kill team here's the other side of that sprue again you can kind of tell this is a really f nice full plastic multi-part kit that you're going to get to oh look at that weird crew rifle bow gun thing so again uh there's the the crew sniper with the actual scope on there i don't know how effective a scope's going to be inside of a space hulk but hey uh maybe maybe not all your games will be inside the uh, the galadark so galadark is the uh, the space hulk that this game setting takes place in. More on that later. Um, and by the way, we will have uh, 360s of these models at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around and check those out. Uh, up next, we have the Imperial Breachers. And then real quick, I just want to point out how many heads you get on these sprues. So we have a whole bunch of helmets here if you want to have your dudes with masks. We also have a ton of... Di di ton of different heads without masks, both male and female heads, uh, which is nice with lots of different various haircuts and styles. Uh, some of them have like bionic eye implants and things like that. Uh, very cool, very diverse uh, crew there. We've got different boarding shotguns here. We've got some, looks like hotshot las guns, maybe a las, man portable las cannon or something like that, chain swords, uh, a bunch of interesting weapons. We've got the breacher shield too. I feel like that's going to be really important uh, as you're, <laughs> going from spaceship to spaceship fighting um various looks like oxygen tanks and things like that breathing apparatus these are these are uh these breachers imperial breachers are designed to go across the void of space uh and attack enemy ships or defend their own ships and you know you're firing guns in a spaceship there's might be some some holes in the hull that could cause some uh explosive decompression op you know some, tr some trouble <laughs> So maybe having a gas mask to survive a spacesuit, you know, to survive with a spacesuit on, 
not a terrible idea. Looking cool, though. Uh, very cool sprue. I have so much strain in the box, though, I don't know if this is the only sprue or not. So we're going to have to dive in to find out. So I'm going to move that to the side. And then we're just going to keep going here. Again, this is just a pile of terrain at this point. So, all right. So let's take a look. We've got two of these sprues. These two sprues look the same. So um, what do we got here? Got some oxygen tanks, more doodads, uh, collapsed wall. Is this a... Yeah, most of this stuff looks like you can... Some of it actually looks like you could maybe glue onto something else or glue it together. I'm not 100% sure on that. This bit looks like it goes together. But uh, yeah, just like collapsed pipes and rubble and things like that. So you get two of those sprues, which is nice. Um, we have more of these. These looks like bulkheads or something like that. This looks like, yep. So you get two copies of this sprue now. Uh, this sprue, what's on here? Uh, again, these look like walls, uh, various doors. These are really cool too. These actually look like they would fit in front. Yeah, they actually have uh, for the bars on the side. I don't know if you could maybe just glue them open or shut. That's kind of cool. Give you the option. If you want like a rounded door or a, a square door. <laughs> different locking mechanisms. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And again, these are this is a, a unique uh, terrain set specific to the Into the Dark um, terrain. So at least two of those sprues so far. All right, here's another set. And I believe, yeah, this is a different set compared to, these two are the same, but these two are not the same. Yeah, okay. Cool. So another batch of terrain. This one's got another one of those round doors. Um, these little, I think these are for like walls. I've been building a lot of terrain recently from GW as well. And um, I really like the way they do the walls in these kits for like Zone Mortalis. This looks like a different Zone Mortalis set of terrain. Uh, and this is kind of the thicker plastic uh, that they use for the terrain kits. So a little uh, hardier to work with. Uh, and, um, yeah, pretty, pretty dummy proof too, to be perfectly honest. Um, what else do we got here? All right. We've got another one of those. And I think, is this the same or different? This looks like it is a different set. Yep. It's another set there. Look at that. Look at that. Is this another one? And this, does this match? Okay. So we basically end up with six different terrain sprues, uh, two copies of each for a total of six terrain sprues, uh, eight terrain sprues, sorry, two, four, six, eight, eight terrain sprues, total of eight of those, I can count good, uh, and uh, again, various walls and stuff like this, this is going to make a whole entire Space Hulk situation going on here, so very cool all the way around, and then we also have uh, the Kill Team templates, which if you don't have a set already, you have these now. They also come with little barricades, which is a nice, nice touch. So that'll be nice. And then there was an extra sprue for the uh, Imperial Navy breachers here. So again, there you go. This I think is the little uh, little uh, cat machine. I forgot what it's called, but it's a, like um, the little autonomous drone that that you can send in for like for breaching and stuff. There's also some more weapons on here. Uh, there's extra helmets. There's a, like a fire axe, which is kind of cool. Um, more heads to work with and auspex. So this is like your extra doodads uh, for your kill team if you want to spruce them up even further. Um, there's still more in the box. So <laughs> we're getting there. So you get the cool art thing here, which uh, you can use if you want to frame it up. But really this is just in the box to keep the books protected from the, the sprues. You get your bases, you gotta have those. Um, you also get your books. So uh, I'm not gonna go through the books entirely here because the core rule book, if you're interested in learning how to play Kill Team, this is what the book is for. But we also, you can click on the button at the top of your screen there. Uh, we have a whole how to play video, which you're running through how to play Kill Team. Uh, there's also the Into the Dark core book, uh, or campaign book here, which I may flip through here in a moment. And then there's also the card packs for the various kill teams. 
So uh, you get dice, which is this the tiny little orange dice or with black tips, which is kind of nice. And then the board, which again represents kind of a Zone Mortalis or Space Hulk. It's two sided, so that's also really cool. And that is everything in the box. We're gonna take a quick look at the cards real fast. Uh, these two decks are essentially the same decks, but they are backed differently for the two different players. So as you're playing through, these are your tack op cards. These are essentially how you're going to score victory points uh, to determine who's actually gonna win the game. So uh, you get two different decks. Again, they just have different backs on them. One's grayish with a white emblem and one's black with a an orange emblem. They're essentially the same decks. Uh, there's nothing too crazy in here. Just generic kill team decks. If you want the, uh, the the rules for your specific kill team, um, you can find it either in the annual book or I think whatever the the specific kill team books were for. Like the Into the Dark book, which real quick too, tokens got to mention those, and then the, the instruction manual how to build everything is also included in the box. Um, Moving the decks aside, we're going to flip through the Into the, the Dark book really quick. Uh, what's in this book? Well, it's kind of the backstory of what you're doing here. So the Galadark is a space hulk that uh, was floating through space, and now there's a crew kill team and or kin, kin band and a an Imperial Breacher team. So space hulks are kind of a big deal in the uh, Warhammer 40k universe, um, if you're not familiar at all. So they're just like warp storms that smash random ships together at some point and they float through space and they collect more ships kind of like space junkyards but they can have a bunch of crazy important stuff on them as well so the Kurt and the imperium have boarded the galadark and are are going to town so um that's all your backstory there there's a lot of really cool art in this book as you can see it's all themed different from some of the previous art which is kind of cool um, you get a closer look at the kill teams. There's some names and backgrounds if you if you want to do those um, as well. There's some more backstory. And then, of course, there are the rules and, and cards for all of the kill teams. Like I was saying earlier, you have your tactical objectives from the decks. Well, you've got strategic ploys and tactical ploys for your kill teams in the book, too. Um, again, it goes through the different kill team members for the various factions. Um, how to do basically build out and play your two different kill teams, either your uh, Farstalker Kinban or the Imperial Breacher team. So, um, but yeah, there's a look at the Kroot as well. Uh, yeah, interesting looking Warbands across the board. Uh, they have their own special rules and rare equipment and requisitions and all that fun stuff too. And then this is more uh, missions specific to the Galadark, uh, how to kind of use the different terrain sets in there. So your walls and range examples and all that fun stuff. So uh, these are neat too, because it actually tells you what the uh, different apparatuses are on the ship. So like I was saying earlier, like it looked like the tanks kind of fit together. Uh, that's what those are, the broken pipes and things like that. So again, unique terrain for the set, unique rules within the set too. And then you get missions. Uh, they also tell you how to set up the board, which is kind of fun. Um, if you want to play these specific missions as you go through. Um, this, of course, is the Galadark um, setting for, for Into the Dark. Um, and it, it is going to be the first of the new season for Kill Team. Uh, GW announced that there's going to be three more expansion sets coming, um, uh, with, which will feature more unique terrain, two key Kill Teams each, and more missions and rules that kind of play off of this and tell the grand story of the Space Hulk Galadark. So that's exciting stuff. Well, if you made it this far, it's time for the part that you've been waiting for, the 360s of the minis. Check these out.
Well, that's it for Kill Team Into the Dark. Really cool box, really nice terrain set, and the two new Kill Teams are really cool. We're excited to see them, and we hope for more from the Crude and the Imperial Navy Breachers. Um, if you are interested in more Kill Team, we do have our How to Play video and the rest of our Kill Team coverage right there on your screen. I'm Adam here from Bulls. We'll see you next time.